Inside the brain, along all of the blood vessels of the circulatory system, there is a highly selective filter called the blood-brain barrier. This barrier allows some substances to pass through into the brain, while keeping blood and harmful substances inside the blood vessels. The barrier is made up of several components, the first of which is the tight junctions between endothelial cells, restricting much of what can pass through. The endothelial cells are wrapped in a layer of parasite cells. Those are then embedded in a thick basement membrane made up of a fibrous extracellular matrix. Outside this membrane, astrocyte cells form projections called feet, which further surround the blood vessels. These feet help transport nutrients from the blood to neurons, supporting neural activity. In certain pathologies, like Alzheimer's disease, we believe the barrier begins to break down. This blood-brain barrier dysregulation can occur as endothelial cells degrade, compromising the tight junctions. The parasite cells also degrade, and the blood-brain barrier loses structural integrity. As this happens, the brain's custodial system fails, causing A-beta and tau pathology to build up, which are strongly associated with Alzheimer's disease. Over several years, this pathology and the infiltration of other neurotoxic proteins leaking through the broken barrier lead to neurodegeneration, ultimately causing alterations in memory, behavior, and cognition.